if I ever want to have, like, I love kids. They're cute. But I don't know if I want to have my own, especially today, because everybody's, oh, they're a miracle. Are they? <laughs> Anybody feel like a miracle to their parents? There's no miracle here. When, you're, when your grandparents brought your parents home from the hospital, it was in a cardboard box on the front seat of the car. <laughs> That's how they brought babies home. Now we wrap them in bubble wrap. And especially today, like everything's got to be organic for the baby. You got to have an organic baby. You see the moms in the health food store, they're pushing the kid around. Kid's kind of wobbling around the cart because he's never had white sugar. <laughs> Mommy, I see spots. <laughs> she's always in yoga gear. You think she's going to break into a pose at any minute. <laughs> I actually saw a mom speaking sign language to her baby. I guess that's a new thing now. You got to communicate with the little baby, which is weird for me because when I was growing up, my mom had one sign. <laughs> that was when you knew you went too far. And if I taught my baby sign language, I wouldn't teach her stuff like, I'm hungry or let's cuddle or I want a bath because whoa, 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 bussy baby, relax. <laughs> Nobody needs a bossy baby. <laughs> Mommy is drinking. <laughs> you need to take a personal five. I would teach my baby to be a spy. Then I'd leave her alone in a room full of my girlfriends. Come back an hour later and my baby would be like, Susie's talking shit about you again. <laughs> Thanks, spy baby. <laughs> we are on it. And the racing strollers, too. I don't get that either. How fast are you running with a baby? Already weak from no sugar. That you need mountain bike tires. Is that even safe? And I'll give you that. If you want to go running with your baby, go ahead, go running with your baby. But I call bullshit when I see a handbrake on a stroller. <laughs> Do you get that you're pushing it? <laughs> I mean, I haven't pushed a stroller a lot, but I have pushed a shopping cart on occasion. In the store, not the street. <laughs> and this is how I stop the cart. Let me know if you guys use the same technique. Good, you're stopped. That would be like me just putting brakes on my pants. That was close. Thank God I had the break. I mean, let's not even get into the concept of inertia, right? We've all been driving, you slam on the brakes. What happens? You fling forward. If you were running with your baby and you're really going fast, right? Like, you were hauling ass because you were trying to lose that baby weight. Because you never know when Angelina Jolie's going to, like, fly in and steal your husband and adopt your baby. <laughs> she could do it. She's totally loud. So you're running through the streets going crazy. Sue the flew out about three clicks ago, and then something dangerous happens, like... A kitten flies out in front of you. And you reach for that brake. You would actually flip over that stroller. The last thing you'd see is your baby flying into the street signing, Help! 